guys, today I'm reviewing the Keurig K Elite. I know some of you have asked for this review, so here it is. It's 13.1 inches in height, 16.5 inches when it's open, 9.9 inches wide, and 12.7 inches deep. It weighs 8 pounds. The cord length is about 26 inches. The finish looks premium and comes in gold, silver, and slate. The reservoir is removable and holds 75 ounces. It slides into the side. Just take the lid off to fill water. And there's a marked max fill line, so don't fill water above that. This is the Includer filter kit. There's a holder and a filter. The filter goes inside this plastic holder, and the holder goes inside the reservoir on top of the black piece. I don't usually use the included filter because I'm already using filtered water. The drip tray is removable. And you can fit a travel mug 7.2 inches tall. It'll hold about a cup of overflow. The cover is metal and heavy, unlike a lot of Keurigs where the cover is plastic. To use the unit, plug in the machine, press the power on button, it'll light up green. Notice the add water blue light is blinking, that's because I have no water in the reservoir. There's a descale light that will come on when it's time to descale the Keurig. There's a hot water button, perfect for tea if you want to use a tea bag instead of a tea K-cup, it's less expensive. The hot water button is also good for instant soup, oatmeal, and hot cocoa. There's no touch screen, it's actual physical buttons, which I actually prefer. There are five cup size options. They're not numbered, but there are pictures. Four ounce, six ounce, 8 ounce, 10 ounce, and 12 ounce. There's a strong option. You press it to get a stronger brew. It generally takes a little bit longer to brew. There's an iced button. You fill your plastic cup with ice and brew for iced drinks. It's nice to have the 4 ounce option for those who want a really strong cup of coffee. Six K-Cup Pod Variety Pack was included. There's also a quick start guide. When the power button is turned on, it'll be green, and when you fill the water, it'll start heating the water. That's the noise you're hearing right now. It takes about three minutes to heat the water. There's no more heating sound, and that's when you know the unit is ready to brew. This is the programming button. Use the up and down arrows to program. Press it once, you see the time. You can change it using the arrows. Press it again for the minutes, then again for the temperature. You can set the brew temp between 187 and 192 degrees Fahrenheit. The auto on feature lets you set a time for when you want to brew the cup of coffee. The auto off automatically turns your brewer off two hours after the last brew. So when you see this moon icon, that means the auto off is enabled. You can program the unit to shut off in 15 minute increments after the last brew. When you first get the unit, rinse the reservoir. I've already filled it to the max line with water. If you're using the included filter, put it in the reservoir before you fill with water. Before using the unit to make coffee or tea, run a cycle with just water. Put a mug on the tray. Press the power button, it'll be green. The unit will heat up the water and you will hear a sound. And after the heating sound stops, it's ready to brew. There's no lighting up of any buttons to let you know that the unit is ready to brew. You just have to listen for the heating sound to stop. I'll press hot water. And all five cup sizes are lit up. I'll press the eight ounce. The hot water is done brewing, now we can brew a cup of coffee. After you brew one cup, you can hear the water heating up again. The heating took just about 30 seconds, so you can quickly brew another cup. The hot water button is very convenient, and it's nice to have a designated hot water button, because in other Keurigs to brew just hot water, you open and close the lid. With this unit, you don't have to do that, you just have to press the hot water button. As if the Keurigs were not easy enough to use. They've made it even easier. With this Keurig, you can use coffee K-cups, tea K-cups, hot cocoa K-cups. You can also use ground coffee or tea leaves with the K-cup reusable filter. Let's brew a cup of coffee. Press the power button. I'll use a coffee K-cup pod. 
Close the lid. I'll choose the 10 ounce cup size. in under a minute. It's close to 180. It's winter. It's very cold outside. The cup just came out of my cupboard and it is cold so that does affect the temperature of the coffee a little bit. It's hot enough for me and it tastes like a good cup of coffee. Just like with most Keurigs, the coffee tastes very good. It doesn't taste watered down at 10 ounces. Of course, the smaller the brew size, the stronger it will taste. When you're done brewing, Lift up the lid and just remove the pot. To clean, remove the used pod. Put your finger underneath the pod holder and just push up. It'll pop out. This funnel on the bottom is removable. You just pull it right off and when you're done rinsing it, just pop it back in. Wash the pod holder with warm soapy water and rinse it. There's a needle inside the pod holder and a needle up here. Those are the needles that puncture the K-cup pods. Clean the entrance and exit needle once in a while to loosen any coffee grounds that are stuck. After the pot holder is clean, just push it back in. The reservoir can be washed with soapy water and dried. Just don't use a cloth to dry the inside of the reservoir because you don't want lint inside. I'll show you how to use the reusable filter in this unit. Pop out the K-cup pot holder. The filter goes inside, fill it with coffee. There's a small size mug line and a large mug line. Fill to either line depending on what size you're brewing. I filled coffee to the top line for the larger cup. The lid has an unlocked picture and that should match up with the dot in the holder. Just turn it and it'll close. Put the filter in. Close the lid. Of course, put a cup on the tray. I know it's the simplest thing, but sometimes we forget. And that's why I like the removable drip trays. It can hold overflow because accidents can happen, of course. I'll choose the 10 ounce size. Again, it almost hits 180, and that's taking in the fact that the cup is cold. You can, of course, rinse your cold cup out with hot water before you brew a cup of coffee, if you really want that hot coffee, but I don't know how many of us want to do that extra step in the morning. So the brew time between cups is really short. The water's already hot, so you don't have to wait for your second cup of coffee or tea. It's a strong cup of coffee. It is a stronger cup of coffee than the K-cup pod because I used my own ground coffee and a lot more of it than you would find in the K-cup. And depending on the grind you use, there will be some sediment on the bottom, more sediment than if you'd use a K-cup. Take out the filter when you're done. Take the lid off the filter. It is hot, so be careful. 
throw out the grounds right away and just rinse the filter, the cover, and the holder. If you leave the sitting around, the grinds will just be hard and form a solid block. It'll just be harder to clean. Even if it gets hard, the coffee is not that hard to clean, but if you're using tea leaves, you should really dump it out right away because that forms a very solid block and um, it takes longer to clean. This little inexpensive filter, by the way, is a great way to save money on pods. Under the video, I've put a link to this filter in case you want to get it. I'll show you the iced option so you see how much coffee it brews. Generally, you're supposed to use a plastic cup with ice. I'm just going to brew the coffee straight into my glass measuring cup without any ice. It's freezing, it's winter, I don't want any iced tea or coffee, but I just want to see um, how much it'll brew. Put my holder in, put a teapot in, and press iced. So you're getting six ounces total that'll go over ice. It's a little bit stronger than if I had just brewed a regular eight ounce cup of tea using this pod. The Kaolite looks sleek and modern. It seems solid, gives you many cup size options as well as strong brew and iced options. I really like the hot water button since I can use my favorite tea bag. The reservoir is very large so you don't have to keep filling it with water. It brews really quickly and you don't have to wait too long between brewing two cups. If you want to try out this Kaolite, I've put a link right below this video. If you do want a product reviewed, leave it in the comments comments below. I do try to review as many as I possibly can. I can't commit, so I'm not going to say yes, I'm going to review it, but I will try if I get a chance or if I can actually get my hands on the product. As always, if you found this review helpful and useful, subscribe to my channel and like this video.